Okay, so here we're going to look at part B of the sample examination. And um, we've got some new information for us. So it was found that a group of 120 people from Wellington, 32 of them are at least 65, 83 are earning at least 50,000, and 16 are under 65 years old and so they've got two bits here, and they earn under $50,000. So when I'm thinking about this problem and trying to figure out how to solve it, um, if I just browse through, calculate a probability, randomly select a person from this group, earns at least 50000 and is under 65. So they're wanting me to find the probability of at least 50000 and under 65. So I've kind of got two categories here that I'm dealing with people in terms of their age and in terms of their income. So since it's the two categories, a two-way table might be kind of a good way to break this one up. So I could say maybe that I've got people who are earning at least 50,000. I might just say 50k for 50,000. So the alternative to earning at least 50,000 would be under 50,000. That's my first breakup. And then in the next categories I've got the fact that they're at least 65 years old. So if they're not 60, at least 65 years old they must be under 65. And then I guess I can break that off here. And then I've got this other information which will help me figure out what these totals are, is that it's 120 people from Wellington. Okay. So, let's see if we can fill in the table a little bit. I know 32 of them are at least 65 years old. So, 32 are at least 65, that means everybody who is at least 65, so everybody in this column would add up to 32. So, I don't know the individuals there, but I know that there will be a total of 32 in that column. A certain number of them will earn at least 50k, and some of them will be under 50k. The next thing I've been given for information is 83 earn at least 65, or sorry, earn at least $50,000. So at least $50,000, that means this whole row here has to add up to 83 people. And I've got a total of 120 people. You told me that at the start. So from here I've got to start to work backwards a little bit, and Oh, I've got one more bit of information. So 17 people are both under 65 and they earn under 50,000. So under 65 and under 50,000, that's that group there. So this gives me enough information to start working backwards to fill in the rest of the table. So I know here my totals must add up to 120. So if 83 total, um, I can go 120 minus 83 and there I'm going to get 37 in that category there because 83 and 37 will add up to 120 and working backwards again here 120 minus 32 is going to give me 88 because 32 88 will add up to 120 now I can start to move into um, the individual bits in the table so I know along this row I've got a total of 37 people 17 have already been accounted for in that spot there so that's going to be 37 minus 17 gets me 20. And working upwards here, I know that at least 65, there's a total of 32 of them. If 20 of them earn under 50k, then I know that 12 of them earn at least 50k. And for under 65 year olds, there's 88 of them total. 17 are earning under 50k. That means 71 of them must be earning over or at least 50k. So now that I've got my table filled in, finding the probability shouldn't be that bad. So we'll think again about which group they were asking us to find. Um, randomly earns at least 50,000 and is 65 years old. So that and part's important. So earning at least 50,000, that's this group. And is under 65, that's this group. So that's where the two meet up. So I've got 
71 people out of 120. So my probability is going to be equal to 71 divided by 120. You can leave that as a fraction or put it into a decimal. 0 0.5917 for 4 dp. Okay, so not too bad of a problem once you start to build up a um, two-way table for yourself. And again, remember that your totals will add up along a row or along a column. And from there you should be able to work it out.